Hello everyone, it's your next Dennis Florence and you welcome back to my channel where we talk all about health and wellness. In today's video, we're going to be talking about diarrhea. We're going to be actually talking about adult diarrhea. You know the drill now, we're going to be talking about what it is, its signs and symptoms, its types, some of the things that you might notice when you have diarrhea, its prevention, what to do when you have diarrhea or you know someone that has diarrhea before you go to the hospital. Keep watching. To my subscribers, thank you so much for coming back and if it is your first time of visiting my channel, you're welcome to the family. Kindly subscribe, like and share. Thank you. Diarrhea is the passage of three or more loose or liquid stools per day or more frequently than is normal for the individual. It is usually a symptom of gastrointestinal infection which can be caused by a variety of bacteria, viral or parasitic organisms. In most cases, diarrhea may go away on its own after a few days, but sometimes you will need expert management. Anybody can have diarrhea disease, but it is mostly common in young children, the elderly, that older adults, and those with medical conditions. Note that frequent passing of formed stools is not diarrhea. Diarrhea may be acute, persistent, or chronic. Acute diarrhea is more common. It is a sign of infection caused by microorganisms. It is sudden in onset and usually lasts for a few days. Persistent diarrhea, as the name implies, generally persists for several weeks. Chronic diarrhea is less common. It may be due to an underlying condition such as thyroid conditions or diabetes and it lasts for more than a month. The infection is spread through contaminated food or drinking water or from person to person as a result of poor hygiene. Diarrhea is caused or triggered by 1. Bacteria in food, for example, egg, meat, shellfish and milk. 2. Certain medications, for example, antibiotics. 3. Food allergy or intolerance. 4. Contaminated water, especially when traveling. 5. Chronic illnesses, for example, pancreatitis or bowel diseases. 6. Highly contagious viral or bacterial infections. 7 poor absorption of food. Symptoms of diarrhea include urgent need to use the toilet, pain or cramping in the abdomen, loose watery stools, frequent bowel movement, bloating, nausea, in some cases vomiting, weight loss and fever. Complications of diarrhea include dehydration and fever. If left untreated, diarrhea can be life-threatening, especially for young children. The prevention of diarrhea depends on both good nutrition and cleanliness. This includes washing of hands regularly, maintaining good general hygiene, eating at places with strict food hygiene standards, eating a well-balanced diet, drinking clean water, avoiding fatty, spicy or sugary foods, and protecting foods from deaths and flies. The best way to manage diarrhea is to give enough fluids and enough food. Give lots of fluids to a person with diarrhea to prevent and control dehydration. If there are signs of dehydration, that's in case of severe diarrhea, give rehydration drink even if he or she doesn't want it. Gently insist. Give food as soon as the person can eat to meet nutritional needs. Do not give fatty or greasy foods, highly seasoned foods, alcohol drink or caffeine, or gas-forming foods like beans and cabbage. Diarrhea often means frequent trips to the toilet, which can cause discomforts like itching, burning, and pain during bowel movements. You can relieve these discomforts by sitting in a few inches of lukewarm water in a bathtub, patting your rectal area dry with clean towel after getting out of the tub or shower. Do not rub the area dry because that will only make the irritation worse. Apply petroleum jelly or hemorrhoid cream to your anus. In most cases, you can treat mild diarrhea or uncomplicated diarrhea at home by using over-the-counter anti-diarrhea medications or the above-mentioned remedies. You will usually feel better very quickly. However, you will need to seek medical help immediately if your diarrhea is coupled with any of the following symptoms. A high fever, blood in your stools, black tar-like stool, dark urine, headaches, 
severe abdominal pain, inability to keep fluid down due to vomiting, rapid heart rates, flushed dry skin, lightheadedness, dizziness, irritability, and confusion. So guys, give me a thumbs up if you find this content helpful and useful. Please subscribe for free by clicking on the red subscribe button on my channel page or at the end screen of this video. Turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. You can drop your comments or questions in the comment section below and I will attend to them. I remain your next door nurse and I'm just a knock away. I love you guys. See you in my next video.